So for our first exercise, we're going to be doing a crunch with a chest pass. So this is a great exercise for a pair of swimmers. Focuses on core strengthening to help when they're in the pool, have to use their legs and like keep a strong core, as well as upper extremity strengthening. Really helps when they're uh, with their strokes um, when they're reaching out to to the uh, end of the pool or just to swim in general. So my patient here, Jacob. What we're going to do today is. We're going to do a regular crunch, which you know how to do, but this time we're going to twist. I'm going to throw this ball at you. So I'm going to throw the ball at you, you're going to catch it, you're going to bring it on down, come back up, throw it at me. Okay? Okay. All right, here we go. Down, up, perfect. Down, back up, great. Okay. Throw it a little higher. Go. And one more. So for some little modifications that we can do is we can do, um, as we start with this, we had our knees bent, um, cause a lot of hip flexion. So say the person doesn't have it, you can spin the legs all the way out. This is gonna make the exercise a little bit harder, adding more core stability, but they can keep the legs straight and going down and coming back up. Another little modification you can do is depending on the, pa pa the patient stroke, is you can work on butterfly and it's the same chest pass. You're catching high, going down, and when you come up, you're gonna pull all the way through, like you're gonna go through the stroke. So right. those are two little modifications. There's gonna be a lot more you can do, but just for those two things, it's really simple changes. Mm -hmm. For our next exercise, we're gonna be doing side steps, really targeting the glutes here, some glute strengthening. Okay, Jacob, so for this exercise, we're gonna stand here, you're gonna face the wall straight ahead of you. I want you to uh, keep your feet pointing straight, Give me a little bit of bend in your knees. We're gonna take a step like to our side, step to our side. What I want you to focus on is I don't want you to bring your foot up forward like this. It's gonna hit the wrong muscle, it's called TFL. If anything, I want you to kind of go slightly backwards or in the glutes, okay? And we're gonna walk to the end of the carpet and back for three laps. And this carpet is actually 20 feet long. So just know that. So for modifications for the side stepping exercise, what you can do is you can uh, drop the butt a little bit lower to the ground, causing the glutes to work more. And you can also start adding in resistance bands to add resistance. Uh, you can start at the knees or slightly above the knees and start working your way down to the foot. Um, the higher up it is, the easier it will be, and the lower it goes, obviously the harder it will be with that. And then if you needed to add an upper extremity involvement, what you can do is you can start doing that chest pass again with the side step. Um, throughout the whole entire exercise, getting now lower extremity and upper extremity involvement. So, Jacob, for this next exercise, we're going to work on your freestyle of swimming gear. So, what I want you to do is we're going to swim to the end of the pool and we're going to come back. However, I want you to let your feet just hang. Like, we're not going to use them, use them as drag, okay? Really focusing on getting upper extremity strength. A lot of uh, power comes from the legs and swimming. So let's take that away and focus on other muscles instead, such as the arms. All right, and for some modifications, depending on your athlete's sport-specific stroke, we can incorporate uh, strokes such as the butterfly stroke, the backstroke, or as well as uh, breaststroke. So for example, Jacob, we're gonna do that same uh, swimming technique. This time I want you to do uh, breaststroke, okay? We're gonna let our, our feet drag. Breaststroke? Yep, breaststroke. Okay. And when you're ready. Right, so for our fourth and final exercise for the video, Jacob, we're gonna be doing flutter kicks. This is great, this works on endurance for the lower extremity. So Jacob, we're gonna swim to the end of the pool and swim back, but we're only gonna use our legs, okay? So you can just keep your hands just pointing straight out in front of you, and just all in the legs, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, see what you got. You can modify this exercise to use other kicks, like pressure kick or dolphin kick for butterfly.